Modern Nomads is a weekly program about Kazakh compatriots who try to save Kazakh traditions for the current and next generations and for those who are interested in the culture and history of ancient Kazakh nomads. Watch us every week on Kazakh TV. My older sister has turned 88 years old. She's still in her right mind. She has the right words and movements and the behavior as before. She says, I've reached this sound state owing to the power of embroidery. So she's aging in such a good way. For 88 years old, I mean 90. She's visited Almaty and she lives in Arumchi. She says to me, it's the use of embroidery. Don't stop embroidering. Embroider as far as your eyes can let you see. Sakip Jamal is an old lady over 80 years old. She is still strong. She draws flower patterns and embroiders. She started her handicraft when she was a child. She has a quick art quality, her eyes and her mood. She pulls embroidery on traditional frames. The frames don't spoil the embroidery patterns. The embroideress used to live in China, and she is a granddaughter relative to the poet Tan Jaruk. She is the offspring of a holy woman, Kazai. Speaking of the Kazakh traditional embroidery art, first we should mention the bride's dowry. They make a tigarish. This is a broad ribbon twined of thin, vari-colored threads used for fixing the walls of your yurt. Most embroidery is used inside the yurt. They sew the tuskiz, a large wall felt mat. Our grandmothers used to say that the tuskiz wished good things for the young couple. They sew the tuskiz and they embroider the kimishek and the shilaush, the white shawl and the cover of a married woman. The embroidered felt mat, surmak, and the bed set, tusik koz, as well as the bed cover, tusik jabu, and the trunk cover, sandik kap, and the case for glass, shinni kap, as well as a case for the mirror, ayna kap. They sew all of these things. They make the felt with ornaments. Generally, they embroider a lot. There are various kinds of embroidery. They embroider bed covers, and they also embroider round bed covers and pillowcases with three-row embroidery. There is a luggage cover. There are lots of embroidered things in a bride's dowry. The meaning of the embroidery is to make good wishes for the young couple. The Kazakhs particularly respected the embroideresses because embroidery can be seen in all types of handicrafts. Embroideresses help masters of the yurt to be decorating the interior. The masters who make clothes and blankets embroider their works. The shoemaker and the master of wood and iron depends on the inventive mood of the embroiderer. The embroideress also draws clusters of flowers and makes beautiful ornament patterns. This is an embroidery awl. I got the golden necklace from embroidering with this awl. This embroidery awl is called the Kesti Biz. This is mine. I've been embroidering it with it for years. I embroidered all large wall felt mats and all these types with my embroidery awl. I am an embroideress. I don't break away from the tip of the embroidery awl. I don't break the tip of the awl at all. It can break by accident or it wears out. Lots of large felt mats have been embroidered with this. Handicrafts are an eternal work. You can get to know the customs, traditions, culture, and history of a nation by exploring their arts. Our embroidery is elegant. Ornaments are figured. Masters of our nation burn their eyes. All in the yurts from the top of the room, the entrance is embroidered with flower clusters and ornaments. This great art, made by Sakab Jamal Appa, is popular to millions of people and unique. This is the eternal art of the Kazakh nation. 
The yurt doesn't exist without any embroidery or ornaments. The embroidery is an ancient art of the Kazakh tradition kept for ages. I first learned to embroider from my grandmother. I learned it from my mother and older sister. Owing to this embroidery, I and my sister participated in embroidery contests on behalf of Kazakhstan and Beijing, among 156 nationalities, and we were awarded with prizes. Among a billion people, we gave our craftsmen from 32 regions a go-by. We are awarded with a golden necklace. Embroidery has got a particular magic power. The deep wrinkles in the venous hands of Sakab Jamal Appa seem to preserve the imprint of the Kazakh customs and traditions. Her fingers frame her thoughtful lights with flowers and create ornaments. Her embroidery all is like the trace of her mood. The pattern is followed by another one, which makes beautiful harmonious pictures. If an embroideress was an artist, she would create the amazing paintings with these patterns. The design of the white shawl and its cover for the married woman, the Kimishek, and the Shulaosh also embroidered by Sakab Jamal Appa, has got ornamental patterns for a few centuries. It still attracts the eye and it refreshes the mood. These Kimishek and Shulawish are relics left by Baidibek B and Domalak, from the mother to the daughter. Every nation has got their own styles to wear the Kimishek and Shulawish. The Kimishek of Argerian, Kizai, is peculiar. My mother Kizai used to say that I will leave a relic of a Kimishek and Shulawish, differing from other daughters and daughters-in-law. There is a bright one for the young daughter-in-law or the young woman. Its stitching is frequent and its color is bright red. There is an embroidery with pearls and corals. It looks very elegant. Pendants of the Shulawish are made of silver. It is one of the biggest parts of the bride's dowry. When the girl gets married, they put on the Shulawish over the Jilik and the thin silk shawl of the newly married woman. This is a tradition. When the bride enters her husband's house, they remove it and they put it on the Jilik. The Kimishek for middle-aged women is pale and it has less embroidery. It doesn't have such embellishment. The Kimishek for young women is embroidered with gems, pearls and corals, and it has got agats on each side. Women of my age wear pale, modest and plain Kimisheks. It is embroidered with fewer patterns on the front side and covered with white shulaish. The corals on the front side are traditional parts of the Kazai region. If it is on the forehead, you won't lose power. The older people say that wearing silver on your hands makes food in your hand clean. So this is one of our traditions. Handicrafts of the immense Kazakh steppe have their own regional peculiarities. They recognize guests by their clothing and the horse harnesses. Embroiders and ornaments have their own regional peculiarities. Embroidery of the South Kazakhstan region is bright and has frequent stitching. In the north and the east, people used large ornaments, bigger embroidery, and wider stitching. The handicrafts of the Kazakhs in the Mangostau region are similar to embroidery of the Karakalpaks and Turkmens. Every region has their own patterns. The neck part of the Shulawish of the Altai Kire tribes were open till here. They wear the Shulawish gatherings of the one side. I've got sisters of my mother's side of the Alban tribe. They didn't wear the Shulawish. They wear a forehead kerchief and cover either side with a white shawl, and they embroidered the patterns of the Alban tribe, or a white shawl called a Bortpe. Every tribe have got their own customs and traditions. 
We have a heritage left by our ancestors called the Baidebek B, Domalak, and the daughter, Kazai. Not all patterns are embroidered. Every ornament and every embroidery have their own special meaning. Embroidery speaks. Ornaments and patterns provoke thoughts. To professional embroideresses, patterns and embroidery are sacred, and there are various types. The precious patterns for hats and dresses are not used for blankets and pillows. The kimishek and the shoalish are also hats of middle-aged women that have completely different embroidery. The embroidery of the upper part of the hat is called a tobildirik. The forehead kerchief has its own embroidery, which is not used in the hemstitch. In the olden times, women used to wear dresses made of white cloth. They used embroidery on the hemstitch. The embroidery with flowers looked outwards for the herbal patterns. If the dress has six cotters, they embroidered six cotters with different flower patterns. The collar embroidery has got different patterns as well. The girls used to embroider their collars. They embroidered sleeves differently. These patterns are not used for hemstitch. They've got lots of types of embroidery for the sides, very many. I have embroidered with only one type of it. I have embroidered the clothes of my daughter and daughter-in-law. That embroidery is totally different. For example, in Beijing, the shulawish has got different flower patterns. It has different ornaments. The large wall felt mat, called the tuskiz, is a great relic of the Kazakh customs and traditions. The master has made and presented such gifts wishing the good things to the young couples. The tuskiz has got lots of types and patterns that have special meanings. The tuskiz of olden times was plain in the middle. Now it is embroidered with flower clusters. Every embroidery for the newly married couple is made with good wishes and positive intentions. It was a tradition to order a bride's dowry from a mature embroideress with light hands. The embroideress threads her needle with light thoughts and from her heart. All the flower patterns of the tuskiz are taken from nature. We call this a leaf pattern, and this is a flower pattern. It is framed with a flower pattern. These are flowers from nature as well. I embroidered the top part with a grapes pattern. I embroidered here with a leaf pattern. I embroidered with the pattern of light and ripening grapes. This part is framed with the pattern of a mountain flower. There is a parrot in the middle. I embroidered it for my daughter-in-law. So I wished her to be a beautiful daughter-in-law, like a colorful parrot. The tuskiz in the older times was embroidered in the middle, and it was framed with small flower patterns. Our grandmothers used to say that this tuskiz made good wishes, such as, let the young couple be happy and have lots of children. The embroidered tuskiz in the house made good wishes for the young couple, and it leads to many good things as well. Our grandmothers always said, always hang the tuskiz in your house and embroidered it with a horn pattern until they turned 70 or 80 years old, and they kept the tuskiz in the center of the house. Sakib Jamal Apa is a very mature and wise old lady. She nurses her great-grandchildren. She doesn't forget the folk songs and she learned from her grandmother and mother when she was a child. She sings beautifully. The little Yerasil falls asleep to her great-grandmother singing. May the graceful mother embroidery turn a hundred.